man, Tony Gas is here. Listen to me. Right now, 2023, going into a season of self. Season of self. What this mean is season of focusing on you. Focusing on you, loving you, working on you, working for you, and to not look left, not look right, and to keep giving this message to yourself in as many ways as possible. Going into a season of self so you can elevate, so you can heal, so you can grow. And then here's the thing. When when you change for the better, your life starts to change. Because when you change, everything and everyone around you has to change. They are either going to change for the better or they are going to change from being around you, meaning they're gonna get out of your space. When you change, you start to, when you change for the better, you start to attract more to you because you become more likable, more desirable. And I always give this example. Think about this. If you see a person and they are 50 pounds overweight, you may think the person is cute. You may think the person is nice. You may think the person is smart. You may appreciate and respect their religious conviction. You may respect their work ethic. You may respect where they are in life and the level they have reached. But being 50 pounds overweight, you are going to see them a certain way. And it doesn't mean that you see them a bad way. Now, when they lose those 50 pounds, or let's even say it's 10 pounds, their facial, their facial structure changes. Their neck changes. Their arms change. Their stomach changes. So now, you see more of their bone structure. So if you thought the person was cute, or attractive or sexy or fine or whatever word you use at 50 pounds overweight how are you then going to see them when they are at their appropriate weight for their age and height or for their height then you're going to see them different it just they just elevate if you see a person and they have a lot of nat natural wisdom. And they just got good wisdom, but you have to hire, or, or they're naturally smart. But the position you gotta hire for, or the position you looking to work with, has to have a license, or training, or certification. You may think they're a great person, but they still not ready for the opportunity. But when they get that training, when they get that certification or they get that degree or they get that title, now everything that they already were was enough. They just needed that final little stamp. So now they can get new opportunities, different opportunities because of that little bit of elevation or it could be seen as a lot of elevation. See, in this season of self, it's not about you not loving who you are. It's not about you not appreciating how far you've come and how much you've accomplished. It's more so about you enhancing who you are. You elevating who you are. You're not changing in the sense of becoming a totally different person, 
you just becoming a better version of you. So you got to think about that. You got to think about that and continue to do the work. Especially if you are waiting on love. If you're waiting on love, it's typically one or two changes that need to be made. Typically one or two changes that you just cannot fully see yourself or you don't want to accept it yet. And sometimes the change is as small as changing your hairstyle. Sometimes the change is as superficial as changing your wardrobe. And sometimes the change is much deeper, like renewing your mindset, changing your self-talk, changing your entire belief system and how you view yourself, how you view the world. Sometimes it's that, just becoming a little bit more cultured or experienced or knowledgeable, a bit more of a people person, conversationalist. Sometimes it's something as small as that. So I want you to think about this. Think about this and really shift your mindset from seeking love, seeking approval, seeking intimacy or affection if you're already in a relationship and seek growth in your weak areas. Seek growth, seek change. It's always little things. It's always little things. Even, you know, me talking about this, little things that I could be better at popping up in my mind. Little areas I could work on that I know that I could work on popping up in my mind. And it's not easy to overcome your nature that you have reinforced and built for years. It's not easy to change that. But it is possible, it is doable. And that's what we got to do. So hey, it's Tony Gaskins. I'm headed to the airport. We gotta go do a little filming this week. Oh, also, if you are in the Blessed Tribe, or you're on Patreon, or mymentor.life, listen, listen to what I just said. One of the Blessed Tribes, Patreon, or mymentor.life and you are a female relationship coach in Los Angeles, one of my contacts is looking for someone to be on a panel. It's not a paid gig. It's for, you know, a coach building her brand. It's a sorority that's sponsoring it or putting it on, but they don't have like a real budget. So in Los Angeles and you're a part of my mentor.life blessed tribe and you are a certified life coach relationship coach or marriage family therapist just email support at tonygaxon.com support at Tony and know it the, know the opportunity is not available to anybody outside of that now my mentor.life got to be a member or one of the blessed tribes or Patreon. Hey, this is Tony Gaskins, and you got to be in LA unless you want to pay your flight or some stuff. Like pay for your flight and hotel to get out there. It's Tony Gaskins, God bless you. We'll talk soon.